Test a drink, watch a flick, try some music, watch your pick, roll some dice, play a game, we review everything. Hello, Sin here. The first Final Fantasy game, what can I say about it? It started an entire empire of RPG games. From Final Fantasy 1 to Final Fantasy 13 2. It's ever growing, they're never going to stop making these things. But, someone has to review them. So I'm going to take a look at the first Final Fantasy game and see how it really stacks up. Now I'm playing the Dawn of Souls version, so it actually has all the corrected dialogue, all the corrected stats, everything about it is updated. You think I wanted to give them a fighting chance. So let's see what we can do with this game. Hmm? Now I love Final Fantasy games. You can spend months just trying to find out what all the content on them are. Now, I want to tell you guys, this is not a walkthrough. This is just a review. I'm going to cover the plot points and the boss fights that go with the plot points. So I'm not going to be showing you where all of the chests and all of the random encounters look like. So, one thing I do like to do, I like to name my characters crazy stuff. So that way, it gives me a power over them. It makes them personalized. So that way, they're my little tools. So, with all that out of the way, let's really just start looking into this game, finding out what it can do. There are six character types here. You can play a, play three different types of mages. I actually like the black mage and the white mage, only because the red mage doesn't get the uber omega spells that the white and black mage get. I also don't like using the thief much, because in my first time I played through, I used a thief, and it really doesn't do anything more than help you run away from stuff. So, I'd rather have the DPS aspect of the monk, which to me is far superior to that of the thief. So what are four characters with no backstory to do? Why talk to the king, of course! Welcome, travelers. I am told you carry crystals, is this true? GET THEM! And now you know why I'm not allowed to DM anymore. It's just as Lucan's prophecy foretold. When darkness veils the world, yes, we read the four minute long intro to the game. Thank you for reminding us, you jerk. Your Majesty, we can't be certain these are the warriors foretold by the prophecy. We have the crystals! You don't buy these things at Walmart! Yet they stand before us with the crystals. We cannot dismiss this as a mere coincidence. Thank you. Someone uses common sense. Crystal bearers, there's a task I must ask of you. Cool, cool. We're going to go kill some fiends. We're going to correct the world. We're going to save your daughter. No! No, that's not what we're here for. Why would we do that? Garland. A, a knight once in his majesty's service has abducted Princess Sarah. I ask for your aid in the name of his majesty, the King of Cornelia, who has no name. Garland has taken refuge in the Chaos Shrine which lies north. Of course, we did attempt to save the princess ourselves. how that turn out for you? But Garland is our finest swordsman in the kingdom. We m have no one who can match- Then send everyone at once! Obviously! It's a logical strategy. You overwhelm him with numbers when you can't match him in skill. Seriously! I have heard that you wish to journey to the continent to our north. The bridge leading north was lost long ago, making passage impossible. We can swim! How about that? Does that sound impossible to you? If you rescue Sarah, I will have the bridge rebuilt as a sign of my gratitude. Your imports must suck. Go now, warriors of light, and do not fail- Who are you?! Okay, this is the Chaos Shrine. This is the first dungeon in this entire game. So we're going to test the waters and see how it works. I can go left, I can go right, or I can go straight forward. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this dungeon straight in half, right down the middle, and do a figure eight. Princess Sarah has to be in here somewhere. Well, that was easy. Apparently Squaresoft didn't want to actually add difficulty to their first dungeon, so they just put everything right in front of you. Whatever, let's talk to Garland, see what happens. The king will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life. Cornelia will be mine! Who's there? <laughs> the king's lapdogs. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? You really think you have what it takes to cross swords with me? Very well. I, Garland, will knock you all down! Now this is the first part in the game where we can actually add in some expletive for you. Now, I'll start with the fighter. That's your baby. If you got equipment that you can put on someone, put it on him. If you got an awesome weapon you can put on someone, you put it on him. The monk? Now he doesn't need anything. He comes with cloth armor and a staff. You can take both of those off and he does twice as much damage and does more defense. The white and black mage, all you gotta do is stack them with some spells. That's it. You just keep launching fire and you're good to go forever. You can actually buy all the equipment for all these characters with just the opening guild that you have, which is like 500. Because the monk doesn't need any. Is Garland already dead? I'm not even done with my explanation yet. What the hell? 250 gil? Screw you! Princess Sarah can stay here. You, you've come to rescue me. I don't know how I could ever thank you. I'm Sarah, Princess of Cornelia. That's the first time anyone's ever defeated Garland. You must allow me to show you my gratitude. Please, accompany to Castle Cornelia. Thank you for returning my daughter to my side. There can be no doubt that you are the Warriors of Light from Lucan's prophecy. You should hear the prophecy in its entirety, <clears throat> if I may. No, no, that's quite all right. Thank you. We're good. You don't need to say anything. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume all. The four crystals will never shine again. Now I hear that the crystal can be found on a continent north of here. Restoring light to the crystals is our only hope of ridding the world of the monsters which plague it. You know, I think they might consider the humans being plagued. I will have the bridge to the north rebuilt as I promised. I pray that you succeed in restoring light to the four crystals and to the world. Victory music! Alright, let's get the hell out of here! Wait! Just a moment! What? What do you want? This loot has been entrusted to the princesses of Cornelia for many generations. When he abducted me, Garland took the loot as well. I want you to have it. It may aid you in your journey. So we move on to another card scene, where they get to rebuild the bridge like the king promised. Ka you rebuild this bridge! Why'd you join the army? To build bridges, sir! Our orders from His Majesty were to do our part to fulfill Lucas' prophecy! Yeah, prophecy! Let's build the bridge! Yeah. Woo. Doing. Hold on, wait, wait, that wasn't done yet. That wasn't done yet. Fallen! What does this bridge have to do with Luca's prophecy? Absolutely nothing, sir! The four warriors of light are here! They're in Cornelia! But not for long because we're about to leave because we built the bridge! Whatever!
So their quest begins. As the fall warriors of light, they felt overwhelmed by the great task destiny had placed before them. They did not even know the true significance of the four crystals they held in their hands. How do we know this? We're guessing because we gave no backstory at all. The crystals that once, long ago, held the light that shone so brightly. That's, that's not a complete sentence. That's not a complete sentence at all. The time for their journey had come. The time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world once more into light. Dot, dot, dot. Is, is there a continuation of the story? Because, you know, there doesn't need to be an ellipsis there. Okay. Hey, look, I beat the game! I beat the game! Woo! That was easy! Time for me to move on and find some people to infect with sorrow and hatred! What? Part 2? Oh, bullshit!